How do you manage all of your emails, even with different domains, all in one place? Hey YouTube, it's Miss Technical, and today we're talking about a real tech struggle, something I hear a lot from clients. How do you manage all of your emails in one place? And if you're anything like me, your inbox is full of clients' emails, files, receipts, and notifications. But don't worry, I'm breaking down two powerful tools, Notion Mail and Missive. Now you're probably like, get to point, get to point, but this is important. What I'm about to tell you, tell you is very important. Before I show you how to manage all your emails in one place, no matter what type of domain you have on the end of the email, or if it's with Gmail, Outlook, doesn't matter. Before I show you how to do that, I want to first show you the difference between Notion and Missive so that you're able to choose which platform you're gonna use to do this here. Now for Notion Mail, this just launched this year, 2025. It uses AI to label and sort your emails, which is something that I do love. And you can create custom views and snippets for quick replies. So Notion Mail is great if you already use Notion for project management. It's clean, minimal, and AI powered, but I'll be real with you, it is not ready to handle multiple inboxes or heavy workflows just yet. Now, when it comes to Missive, Missive connects multiple email accounts. You can connect Gmail, Outlook, all in one place to where you're able to view all your emails in one place. So all mail shows every inbox in one view. It has a built-in chat and task assignments for teams. It works with Zapier for advanced automation. And I personally use it myself with Zapier as well. So again, I've been using Missive for a while now and I love it. For only about $18 a month, I can manage all my work emails from clients, side hustles, invoices, everything in one place. It's a total game changer. So if you're using Zapier to like scan through all your emails, like read each email and kind of tell it which way to go. That could be pretty pricey with Zapier because it's gonna be a zap for each time it's reading your email. But with Missive, it has its own webhook to where it reads an email. And if it matches a certain rule that you have, it will then go to Zapier to complete the task that you have with Zapier. So for example, with mine, I have a webhook with Missive. And whenever I complete a final file for my client using WeTransfer to send over the files to them, WeTransfer emails me notifying me that these final files were emailed to this person. I have a webhook for Missive to read that specific type of email. And if it matches the rules that I have, it will then use that webhook connected to Zapier and my client will receive an automated email from me and an automated text saying, hey, your final files have been sent. Please check your inbox for an email from WeTransfer. So that's just something that I use for mine when it comes to automation. You can do a lot more webhook automations when it comes to Missive, but that's just one example. Now, when it comes to Notion Mail, it is very limited. It is not like missive it can only do webhook compatibilities through notion database automations so if i wanted to do the we transfer example that i gave you with missive i would not be able to do that with notion mail it has no direct webhook per email so hands down missive lets me automate in a way that notion mail just doesn't right now all right, for the part you guys been waiting for, how to add multiple emails to, in this example, your Missive account. So I'm already signed into Missive, so this is what my page looks like when I'm signed in. If you don't have an account, the first thing that it's gonna ask you is to add an account. And from there, you're able to add more. So how do you add another account to your Missive app so that you're able to see all your emails in one place? You're gonna click on the top left-hand side where you see your face or your logo. Click on settings. And once you click on settings, you're then gonna click on accounts. Underneath accounts, you're gonna see all the accounts that you have that is linked to your missive account, basically. Once you click on an account, you have the option to change a few things. You can add aliases. You can share this account if you want to with other people on your team as well. You can change the name of the account. You can change the avatar of the account as well. You can also change the import history. So if you wanted to take it back more than a year, maybe all history, 
you can do that here as well too. Now to add an account, you're just gonna scroll down and click on add account. And from there, you're able to choose either Gmail, Office, Outlook, iCloud, or iMap. For this example, I'm choosing Gmail. Once you choose either one, you're able to choose the email history if you want it to be a year, a couple months, all your history. Now this isn't transferring over your emails, it's basically syncing your emails. So it's just reading what you already have with Gmail, not transferring it over. On this section here, you can choose if this is a shared account or if this is a personal account. So remember, a shared account is like support or help, an email to where a lot of team members are gonna have access to. A personal account is like your own personal business or work email. Once you choose either or, you're then going to sign into your account. Once you signed on, it's gonna ask you, would you like to start fresh with a clean inbox? If you choose yes, it's going to archive all of your emails and have you start fresh with a clean inbox. If you choose no, it's not gonna archive all your emails, it's just gonna leave it the way it is. And there you have it, guys. That is how you add another account to Missive. And from there, you can add multiple other accounts however many accounts that you will need. Now, if you have a team, you will not be adding the team here. These are for your accounts only or shared accounts that you have access to that you would like your team to have access to as well. This is only for your accounts. I'll create another video for you guys. I'll leave it in the description below so that you're able to watch how to use Teams on Missive and how to add them. In the meantime, make sure to subscribe. It helps support my channel and leave me a residue of your energy by liking this video and commenting below on how you enjoyed this video. Let me know your feedback. I love hearing your feedback. All right, guys, until next time, bye.